everybody. Okay, today we are just gonna focus on one product and one product only. And if you are familiar with how I feel about liquid lipstick, you're probably gonna be surprised I'm talking about this one. This is the newest collection from Makeup Forever. They sent me, uh, they sent me these, full disclosure. Not sponsored by Makeup Forever, but they did send me the product. It is their new Artist Liquid Matte. They sent me this handy little card with all the info and all the shades and all the products, we're gonna get to it. So, um, as you may or may not know, I'm not a fan of liquid lipstick. I like the concept, you slap on some lipstick, it stays on your face until you take it off. But, I have yet to find one that doesn't make me feel like I wanna rip my lips off. I feel like it's very drying, usually the shades are not particularly flattering. But, in the spirit of you know, I'm your guinea pig. I will try these for you. Now, I have been wearing two shades that I actually like. I'm really shocked. Um, I'm, I'm going to go through them though in the order from lightest to darkest. I'll put them all on and I will swatch them on my hand and I will show you this swatch up close and then we will talk about the uh, impressions. So, I have them all lined up in front of me here and I also have my handy dandy Clinique take off the day or take the day off balm stick so I can take these things off without taking off all of my makeup as well. Just wanted to put a little plug in there for this little guy. Such a genius product for YouTubers. And I also want to mention my eye makeup real quickly. I followed a tutorial uh, from an amazing uh, YouTuber here on YouTube. Duh. Where else would she be if she's a YouTuber? Tanya Waller, I believe is her last name. My, hands down my favorite tutorials here on YouTube. Like, so easy to follow, right to the point, walks you through it, tells you what brushes to use, just focuses on the eye, no BS, just beautiful work. I did not do her look justice, but I gave it a try anyway. She's much more talented, clearly, than I am. Anyway, give her video a look. I'll put the link in the description box below. Just click on show more and you will see more. All right, let's get to this. So right now I've got nothing on and nothing, uh, no moisturizer, nothing. I don't know why I'm rubbing my lips, but there you go. And we're gonna start with the lightest shade, which uh, Makeup Forever has ingeniously named 101. I will say, I, I hate that they name their stuff with numbers. It's hard to remember what's what. They are all doe foot applicators. They are, I believe, 0.08 ounces, and they are $20 a pop. So um, I've done some research. Generally speaking, this is a little less product than other liquid lipsticks for about the same price. So there you go. No odor, really. I mean, you gotta shove this thing way up in your nose. No real odor, just kind of a faint, clean scent. All right, let's slap it on. There seems to be a lot of product on this one. I have not worn the lighter shades. I'll let you know when I get to shade I've worn. Ah. Well, that is shade 101. These are all described as ultra matte, heavily pigmented neutrals. So every shade is neutral. This is the lightest. Not gonna lie, uh, it's not awful. Did not require a lip liner. The doe foot applicator is pretty precise. So I like that. Um, I can't speak to how this particular shade wears. I have seen other people talk about it, about this product, and each shade wears a little bit differently. Leanne says, had some issues with this one in her latest video. Um, I do see it gathering. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to uh, crop it right around my mouth. I'm looking in the mirror, and it is just like clinging to the lines in my lips. That's not particularly attractive. Huh, it's like puckering up. But it is already set, and yeah, it's set. Not bad, does not feel uncomfortable on the lips, but I'm really not digging the lines. I already have enough lines, thank you very much. All right, that is shade 101 on the lips, and on my hand, and on the card for you to reference. I should point out that shade 101 is described as a cream beige. Now we're on to shade 103, which is a warm beige. Let's see what we have here. So here it is in the tube. It looks like, by the way, that the doe foot applicator is a little divot in it to hold product. Here is shade 103 on the lips. Also kind of settling into those lines. Maybe they all set, you know what, to be fair, I've never really looked that closely. Maybe all of my lipstick settles into those lines. Maybe. 
Maybe the matte just accentuates it. I don't usually wear matte lipstick, so okay. Shade 103, there it is for you. Also swatched on the hand and up close on the card, 103. Obviously clashing with my pink eyeshadow. Let's get this off. Onto the third offering. This is shade 105, and this is called Rosewood. I think this is the one I was wearing yesterday. I think. They all look very similar, so it's hard to know. But again, a lot of product, I will say, also comes off more product than you need. I would highly recommend wiping off the, do the applicator. I would say this is a your lips but better, at least my lips, but better shade. Not a big difference between my lip color and the product. I like this one. I don't know that I would necessarily wear this with the eyeshadow I've got going on today. Um, I don't know what possessed me to try this look. I should have gone with a more neutral eye, but this is shade 105 in Rosewood, swatched on my hand and up close on the swatch card. Okay, on to shade 107. Not gonna lie, my lips are starting to hurt. This is called Neutral Beige 107, and it's pretty neutral looking. I'm gonna guess it's not gonna look great on me. I don't look great in beige, but here we go. This is a 90s lip, if I ever seen one. Okay, did you understand a word I just said? This is a 90s lip, if I have ever seen one. Uh, 107. Neutral beige, brown lips. <sighs> on the lips and swatched on the hand. And here it is on the card too. Okay, this is shade 109. This is the shade Praline. And unfortunately, this one arrived broken. The cat, the, it cracked below the, the cap. So um, I can swatch it, but because the cap is broken, it, the part that pulls the excess uh, product off the doe foot applicator is not accessible. So tons of product on here, unfortunately. I love it. Makeup Forever sent this to me in a box marked Fragile Handle with Care. Box totally dented. It came in a paint can pink hand dented, it was like, you gotta wonder what UPS, like do, the, I, sometimes I think when you put a sticker on a package that says fragile, the delivery people just purposely try to break what's in there. Okay, that's an aside, let's try praline on, shall we? I feel like I have lipstick all over my face. This is praline, I think this is a beautiful color. Uh, if you're deeper skin tone, obviously this would be a great neutral. I am not a deeper skin tone, like I'm as opposite of that as you can get. And it's more like a berry toned, neutrally red. If you would kind of, isn't that a great description? I think it's beautiful. It doesn't really go with what I'm wearing today, but I, I really like this shade. So there you have 10, is it 109? Yes, 109, praline, and on the lips, and swatched on my hand and up close on the card as well. Okay, down to the last shade. This is shade 203. I have no idea what their numbering system means, like how we jumped from the ones to the twos and why they only end in odd numbers, I don't know. But this is shade 203. It is referenced as a cold pink, not cool, but cold. Um, I have tried very hard to take only the lipstick off and not my makeup, but my lips are still on fire and I'm looking forward to some balm. And my lips now are much redder than they would normally be because of all the wiping on and off, but I think you'll get a pretty good idea. So this is 203 Cold Pink. It is probably my favorite. Does not sit in the lines like the other ones do. I don't know what's up with that. Um, let's talk about wear time and all that good stuff. So this, does, this dries down, it doesn't immediately dry down, but it does dry down, I'd say in less than a minute and um, I have been wearing this for the last few days and I don't know about ultra long wear. This definitely lasts longer than a normal lipstick in a bullet. I wore it to dinner last night and it actually stayed on through the meal, so that's kind of impressive. You can definitely touch up over um, 
what you already have on and it doesn't get cakey. However, I don't know if that applies to every single shade. It does apply to shade 203 and to 105, to these two. I've had no issues with these two. Um, like I've said, I heard watching Leanne's video from Leanne Says that she had issues with the lightest shade getting kind of weird, that like that sphincter look around her lips. So I don't know. But these two shades, the only ones that I've worn consistently, have performed pretty well. So if you're gonna have, if you like liquid lipsticks or you've been on the fence on a liquid lipstick and you wanna try one that doesn't make your lips feel like you want to rip them off or leaves them dry the next day, I do recommend the Makeup Forever liquid lipsticks and I specifically can recommend um, these two shades, 203 and 105. Um, I cannot say for certain the wear time on the other four shades. Just want to put that in there because apparently they all wear differently. But I was pleasantly surprised. Um, what I also like about this is that you can layer stuff on top of these. I've layered lip gloss, um, like a little shine right in the middle there just to give it a little pop. And they seem to work out fine. You still have to do the lipstick test. Do you guys know this one where you put your finger in your mouth and then suck on it to make sure that no residue is on your lips so that it won't get on your teeth? Yep, we're good, okay. So there you have it, the new collection from Makeup Forever, the new Artist Liquid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I give it a cautious thumbs up on two out of four shades. <laughs> and um, I'd love to know if you've tried any of them yourself or if there is another liquid lipstick that you have tried that um, maybe is more budget friendly, that would be nice, that doesn't leave your lips feeling dry and horrible. So. Um, because, you know, that would be ideal. Budget friendly and pretty colors and comfortable on the lips. These are. Well, that's the bell. So that tells me it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. That's my phone. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.